and I'm thinking about your STEM question, because that's an important question to be, to be thinking about and whether there might be, you know, we do have the capability to track degrees by something called a SIP code, which is a program, a federal program code. And sometimes we do very simple things where we'll have a group of SIP codes that are linked to STEM programs you know, that the state has decided these are STEM fields where we need to get more graduates. So we can simply sort the data and say, here's the, here's the STEM degrees and here's everybody else. And I think that can be more accurate than a BS versus a BA, that type of thing. So it seems like that might be something that would be useful where we could show, here's, a st here's how many got a STEM award out of this group. We run grants for STEM a lot, so it would be nice to have some Okay, great. Yeah, no, I think that might be the, a better way to do it. Yeah. What about when they graduate with the new foundation plan and they're going to graduate under the different endorsements? Are you going to be able to track under the different endorsements how the students are done? Okay, I'll, I will show you briefly a report that we've had for years that track the, the old graduation plan. So it shows by recommended and distinguished and uh, minimum. Um, and it shows, and it, it's just tied to our TSI report, so it just shows how many were college ready coming in from those different programs. Um, and in fact, that, that data is data that we used. It was requested from us a fair amount during the, during the session, but that's the type of thing I anticipate we'll continue using for that report. But if there's other reports that would be useful to you where we track it by diploma plan, let me know because I'm already thinking I'm already thinking ahead